Graham, a late fight back here, sees the Stags earn a point. What did you make of it? Um, I'm probably going to sound like a broken record, but that's another game we should have won. Um, we created, we had opportunities. I think they had one chance in the first half just before the, uh, the half-time whistle. Um, a free header, which is concerning in, in, in our six-yard box. Um, other than that, the, the, the first half belonged to us. The chances, the opportunities we created in the first 15-20 minutes. Um, and we're not, uh, we don't look as if we have composure um, in front of the goal. So that's obviously self-belief and confidence, composure. Um, all of the above. So I was a bit disappointed that we didn't uh, we didn't win the game. If, if, if I'm being quite honest, I, I thought we should have won. And that's another game at home that we should have won. What did you make of the goals conceded and scored? You mentioned one of them there. Well, the goals we conceded were poor. Um, two centre halves to set piece. The second goal, two centre halves, both their men uh, flick on at the near, and then the boy bundles it over over the uh, the back stick. We give a free kick away in a, in, a, in, a, in a deep area. Ball, the defender or the striker, sorry, is running towards the, the running out play, really, and we foul him, and we allowed him to put a ball in the box. So, it's um, it's frustrating, it's annoying, but uh, we we will get there. We'll we, we'll get there. We've uh, not had much chance to work hard, really. Um, uh, my working hard and the players working hard are two different things. So. Uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get to my way of thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But uh, look, the lads have given their all again. On another day, they might not have come back. Um, yet again, the fans have got us back into a game. Yet again, the fans have got us over the line. But they're doing their bit. I'm asking the players now, um, let, let's step up to the plate and start rewarding the fans. Because the last two games, the fans have been magnificent. And they've got us back in the game, let's be honest. Um, I, 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 don't think, uh, I don't think we can hide that. So uh, they, they stuck with us and they got us in. Yes, it was difficult conditions. I get all the excuses in the book that, that, that not modern day footballers will make, but it's a game we should have won. It's a game we should have defended their two, uh, their two balls in the box better. And um, it, it, it wasn't to be. But like I said, when I came in through the door, I was under no illusions. Um, there's a lack of confidence, lack of self-belief, and that's possibly why we're missing chances. And that's possibly why we're vulnerable at the back. How do you go about instilling confidence and self-belief into this group? Well, that, that will give them confidence. That will give them confidence there. Um, a game they should have seen out on Saturday and a game that uh, they've dug themselves right back in today. So that will give them a little bit of confidence, hopefully. Um, they're creating chances, which is, which is confident, um, which we're confident that we can, we can get there and we can take them eventually. But um, I keep saying, there's some good players. They don't deserve to be where they are in the division. Whatever's gone on in the past has gone on. So uh, it's, 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 it's a new era, a new chapter. And one thing's for sure, we're getting honest, honesty, we're getting hard work, we're getting graft, we're getting commitment from the players. And that's a good start. That, that, that's a start. Yes, we'd have liked to take more points. Yes, we'd have liked to keep clean sheets. And yes, we would have liked to win one of our two games. But uh, there's a few little bits and pieces that I'm, 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 I'm positive uh, on. And there's a few little bits and pieces that I can see already that, uh, that I'm pleased with. With what hope did you hold after Vale scored their second goal, Graham? Well, the previous group of boys that I managed, I had every hope and I had every faith in them that they would come back. Um, I loved that, the character. I loved them rolling their sleeves up. I loved them fighting back and getting back into the game. Now they've shown me character. Now they've shown me what, they, what, what, what they're made of, that they can come back from the, in, in the face of adversity. So that's, that's a massive positive. That's a massive plus. But my message to the boys would be, don't be going 2 nil behind too often because uh, clubs and teams don't let you back in. Um, so tonight is a... I would guess two points. I would say two points dropped. Tonight we showed a lot of... Um, a lot of qualities that I like and we showed some vulnerabilities that I dislike. But to get back in the game, all credit to the fans, they dragged them over the line again. Now my message to the dressing room will be you start giving the fans something to, uh, to, to, to cheer, cheer about. And the only way you can do that is by winning football matches because the last two games the fans have dug deep for us and they've got us over the line. Yeah, very finally, the games still come thick and fast, don't they? What's the schedule looking like over the next few days? Busy. Hectic, chaotic, game after game, training session after training session. So, like I said earlier on, it's uh, it's a case of I can't wait to settle down and go Saturday to Saturday because uh, we can get some real quality work into the players. We can start getting our ideas and our philosophies across on the training ground. 
And uh, look, there's, there's, there's far more positives that I've seen over the last uh, the last two games, over the last five, six training sessions than uh, than I thought when I came in at first. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we'll are we be OK, we'll be OK. But um, look, you know me, I want to win football matches. I, I, I ain't here to be drawing, drawing games. I ain't here to be hanging around 18th in the table. And I'm sure the players will echo that sentiment as well because uh, they're a good bunch of lads. They're a good bunch of lads. There's some quality in there and it's just that confidence and that self-belief that they're lacking. Thanks, Graham. Brilliant. Thank you.